Right. So about a month and a half ago, I did these. Finished pouring these about maybe two months ago. Never had the chance to complete it, basically. We got some things we need to complete. We got some things we need to do, but the compound rest took that time away, basically speaking. So these are our coasters, and we're looking at them again. There are a few voids I need to fill in. I'll probably fill those in with uh, basically clear resin, maybe except for that big one. I'll have to make a tiny, tiny amount of pink resin. Let's take a look at the, all the bottoms. So basically these bottoms turned out rather well. I especially like these and this one. This is also perfect, rather smooth. A few leaves just popping here and there. Nothing too bad. But one big issue with all of these is that they're not flat. Meaning this is flat. You can just lay it as is and it's already flat and ready to go. But it's not clear. And we got a few issues here. There's a blob there. We got a cleanup to do, basically speaking. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sheet of sanding paper, and we'll just sand these away. Okay. So here we go. lot to remove here for sure <laughs> it smells like roses definitely okay this is going to be nice coffee I like coffee don't know about you guys I like the smell of coffee <laughs> I think it's it's really an oddball thing to say I just sanded some flowers today don't you <laughs> really feels odd and we're going to see some interesting structures within the leaf so it's gonna be nice oh yeah Smells like coffee too, <laughs> no doubt. I can see the granular shape of the bean. Okay, so back in my sauna, <laughs> we got these lovely things, and they're nice and flat now, much better, and a lot better than I thought I'd get to. Now we do have some scratches, especially you can see these over there. So we have material that was removed, and we need to add some material back. Now to do that. First of all, I'm going to deburr these off camera. We have three clear ones and we have some clear resin over here. We'll need some green, pink and brownish colors over there.
some voids have been filled and the clear ones only now you can see that I've started to actually paint basically clear resin over this spot over here so let's do that for the rest Okay, so we have our uh, rod, and these have gone through the last step. I didn't show you that, guys, but fixing it, sort of dimples fixed and so on. I want to buff these clean, but before we get to the buffing stage, we need to do three things. One, we need to put some legs on these, and two, we need to drill a central hole so we can mount them on this now arbitrarily I've decided that the central hole will be in this temple so we'll have above the awesome logo we'll have this hole over here it's not really centered but it's really really nice it fits the cracker uh, design original design so yeah, I think I like it. <laughs> Alright, so that's one thing that needs to be done. And the holes need to be 6 millimeter in diameter. As you can see from here, there we have the mounts ready, as you know. So that's one thing. And second thing, we need to drill a spot for the legs. Now, that being said, and we need to drill a cavity that's 2.6 millimeter, 2.7 millimeter uh, deep. Why? Because this way the resin will hold the legs. What kind of legs? Well, I had a harsh debate, but uh, my wife solved the issue. Glass beads. 5 millimeter in diameter, or so. After I'm sure of the position, like so, and mark holes. 1, 2, and three so these will be the spots for the legs okay and I'm going to repeat it with all of these and I'll I won't show you that that's kind of boring let's get to it okay let's give it a shot I've marked all of these and we're ready to go so let's uh, start with this one. Second of all, that's a decent hole. Where's our test marble? That fits rather nice in there. We could, uh, let's, uh, let's test how deep that is. That's just over two millimeters. That's nice. I'm pretty happy with that. that's good enough for our needs okay there we go number two
Okay. Anybody want some coffee? I got some ground, fresh ground coffee, actually. <laughs> I think we've done a decent job. I think the marble's gonna stick. And I hope I'm right. <laughs> Alright, all holes are done. Except for the important ones. Right. So, um... Let me get set up here. Let's um, let's install these. Start with coffee. Coffee. Switch to oh, sorry, coffee again. Switch to tea. Now we need to extend that reamer a bit. And we are done. So yeah, you could play with those. Lift and move and sway. Of course, the more there are, the heavier they will be, but yeah. there's nothing uh, undoable. There we go. You can pack it in one. And just release the tension there. And this way it falls, <laughs> obviously. So we'll just spread it on nicely. And there it goes. It stands properly. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's been fun. It's been three months of uh, playing with this resin. Not a perfect result, but a really nice result. I really enjoy it. So, yeah. It's a good one. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a sweet day.